everyone, Lisa here. Thanks for joining me on my blog and YouTube channel. I'm sharing a quick card process video featuring Casual Friday's Pretty Posy Stamps and Coordinating Dies. This is a great stamp set to have in your arsenal. The sentiments are great for creating note cards to go in boxed um, gift sets. The sentiments read, a little note to say, feel better soon, you make me smile, I'm thinking of you, and you are terrific. It's just a great set to have. So to get us started, I went ahead and die cut three of the medium posies and three of the leaves. I'm going to be using a stamp positioning tool and the negative left over from that die cutting that I just did. So I use this negative to help me position my stamps. Once I have my stamps positioned, I'm going to take the die cut pieces and insert them back into the negative space. Then I'm going to use VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and I'm going to stamp my images. Now I'm stamping onto Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper because I'm going to be doing some water coloring. So now that we have our images stamped, I'm going to grab some Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens and an Aqua Brush. I'm using Persian Green, Pink, Orange, Yellow, and a Yellowish Green to color with. No fussy coloring on this. The stamps are very whimsical and I want to keep them that way. So, I keep the coloring really simple with this. So using a wink of Stella pen, I traced around the edges of the blooms and the leaves. It just adds a little bit of shimmer to the white area that's left around the uh, die cut pieces. So here I have a black piece of cardstock that's cut to four inches by five and a quarter inch. I'm going to run it through this basket weave embossing folder and I'm going to use that on the front of my card base. Now my card base is a 110 pound Nina cardstock and it is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches with a top fold. To adhere the black embossed uh, cardstock I'm going to be using some fun foam. Now I purchased fun foam that has adhesive on one side. I've never had any issues milling it it's always held up in the mail. If you feel more comfortable buying it and adding your own adhesive, by all means, please do so. I'm going to just cut this down to a little bit smaller than the four by five and a quarter inch embossed black cardstock. I don't want you to be able to see it underneath there. It is colored, so I don't want anyone to see it. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and adhere it to the back of that and then I'm going to center that up on my card base. So using 3D mounting foam we're going to go ahead and adhere our flowers and our leaves to our card front. We're going to take a die cut black cardstock banner and we're going to add our sentiment. Add some anti-static powder to your banner. Using your Versamark ink, go ahead and ink up your sentiment a couple of times and then we're going to add some white embossing powder to this. Now when you add your white embossing powder you want to take a second to take a paintbrush and clean it up a little bit to make sure there are no stray flecks left behind and then use a preheated heat gun to heat set this. Once you have it heat set, let it set to the side and cool for just a few seconds and then we're going to add some 3D mounting foam to the back of it and we're going to add it to our card front. So to finish off our card we're going to add some clear sequins and I'm going to be using some glossy accents to add those on. So I really appreciate you joining me and I hope you enjoyed this quick process video and you'll join me again. Until then take care and keep crafting.